Hi, this is John Yong from SCARF VIP Learning Center. We specialize in IQ training, Maths Olympiad, PSLE Maths, and Science. In this killer question series, we attempt to show up the confidence of students by showing them that with proper logical reasoning skills and effective habits of the mind, all killer questions and challenging questions can be solved. And yes, you as a student, you can do it too. Okay, this 2009 killer questions is interesting because it stumped many students and even draw tears from many top students. And this is where has been the talk of the town for quite a long time. We're going to show you how to do it. Okay? Okay, we are going to model this situation and then apply proper um, techniques. In this case, it's called cross multiply. I'll sh we'll show you later why we use this method and some simple working. Okay, now we have a gym over here and then we have can over here. We've got sweet and chocolate, sweet and chocolate. Okay, now the model is proper and logical and systematic. We then can proceed to investigate further. Now, what does the clue say? Ken bought some sweets and, okay, Jim bought some chocolates and gave half to Ken. So in most situations, student would do this to put half portion here, giving the other half portion to his friend. But this is not advisable because the general rule of mathematics A is to simplify the matter. But with half portion and half portion here, it's rather complicated. So we recommend to do it the simple way. Okay, let's assume Jim bought two portions, one portion for himself, the other portion for his friend. Okay, so it's one portion here and one portion here. So it's an equal uh, amount. Now, Ken bought some sweet, similarly, one portion for himself and one portion for his friend. Okay? Um, when Jim add 12 sweets, okay, let's see what happened. 12, a new situation emerged. The ratio of 1 is to 7. Okay, what does it mean? Jim adds 12 sweets here, and then he's got one unit of sweets versus seven units of chocolate, right? So with this precious information of 12 sweets here, we can work backward to find the original amount that Jim has. So logically it follows that it should be a one unit plus 12. Because after removing 12 sweets here, he's got one unit, okay? What about chocolate? Chocolate should be no change. Okay, working backward, should be a seven unit. Sweet would be one unit plus 12. So we transpose this number here. Ken would have one U plus 12 for the sweet and seven units for the chocolate. Okay? Okay, second part of the story. Can add 18 chocolates. So we have minus 18 here, and the new ratio emerge 1 is to 4. Right. So we have this unknown unit here plus 12, and after something happened, minus 18, a new ratio emerge. This is where we can use cross multiply method. Okay. Cross multiply method is where this entire unit here multiplied by the number 4 on the other side and then this entire unit here multiplied by the number on the other side. Okay, all students should know this method quite comfortably. So with this, what do we do? We just proceed to work it out and see what happens. To solve for the unknown, 1u plus 12 multiplied by 4 would be equal to 
seven u minus eighteen times one. Okay, let's let's just expand out. Four u plus forty eight equals to seven u minus eighteen. So bring this over. We have three unit left. Minus eighteen, throw it over, becomes a positive. Forty eight plus eighteen is sixty six. So one unit would be sixty six divided by three is twenty two. Okay, we have solved for solved for u already. U is twenty two. So what is the question? How many sweets they can buy? So sweet they can buy uh, bought. It's actually one portion here for himself, the other portion for his friend. So it's two portion, two times of one unit plus twelve. So equals to two times of one unit is twenty-two. We transfer here. Okay, this is twelve. So it's two times of thirty-four, giving you sixty-eight. Sweet. And that is your beautiful answer.